Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. It is a pizza box. You open it up just like that. Okay, so here are the supplies. We're using the new in color grapefruit grove, and this measures nine and a half by five and a quarter. And we have another piece that measures two by three and a half. We've got Whisper White that measures three and a half by two. We've got the Grapefruit Grove Designer Series Paper. This is in the in color stack. This is three by three, three by one and three quarter, and three by seven eighths, and you need four of those. And all these measurements will be on the screen there, okay? So sometimes on occasion I might actually say the wrong thing, but I will always try to make sure that I actually write the correct words uh, on the screen there, okay? So I'm gonna take the Simply Scored Scoring Tool, and we're gonna score our Grapefruit Grove cardstock. I'm gonna place it on the portrait side, which is the five and a quarter side, and I'm gonna score it at one inch on both sides. Then I'm gonna place it on the landscape side, which is the nine and a half inch side, and I'm gonna score it at one inch, four and a quarter, five and a quarter, and eight and a half. I'm gonna fold this on the score lines, and I'm gonna use my bone folder. It has been a while since I've done a video. I'm sorry we had our family vacation. My son is getting married in September, so my um, list of things to be done is oh, overwhelming. I just today booked the facility for the rehearsal dinner. And what else did I do? Some other really big thing. Oh, I ordered centerpieces for the tables. Okay, so I'm gonna take my scissors and cut up to the score line. And then do the same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna give each of these tabs, so there's three on each side, I'm gonna trim them a little to the left, a little to the right, and then just shorten them just a tad. This helps to close the box, especially if you're off just a smidge on your scoring. I think I was a little crooked on that one. There we go. Same thing on this side. here. We have made this box before in all sorts of sizes. Um, it's a great box to showcase this color, I think. Okay, now let's take some tear and tape, and I'm just going to tear off a little piece for each of the tabs. If you're going to put something a little heavier in here, you might want to um, add a little bit more adhesive than what I'm adding. Maybe put two strips side by side versus uh, vertically. Go ahead and cut or tear both pieces. Okay, I'm going to take my paper piercer and peel the backing off. This is a little bit bigger than the fold flat box. So remember when I did the fold flat box a few, well, maybe a month or so ago um, that held the chick stand. So you can see this is a little bit bigger than that.
Okay, now I'm going to fold this in, just like that, and this in. And this gets folded over, just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open it back up, and we're going to add this 3x3 three three piece of designer series paper right on the top. And we're also going to add the little side panels. I'm going to add adhesive to all four of them at the same time. So I'm just going to line them up here. Okay, so I'm just going to place these on here. So we have five new in colors and we have the same paper and the ribbon in all five colors. So it would be really pretty if, if I made all five colors. I don't really want to use my supplies though. I almost did and then I'm like, huh, I don't really I really don't want to use all my paper. <laughs> I try to use it and then I try not to use it. You know what I mean? I say I don't hoard my paper, but I kind of do. Okay, so now let's go ahead and stamp our image. We're using the Detailed with Love stamp set. Really pretty set. I'm using the Grapefruit Grove. Whoops, ink pad. And then just ink it up and stamp. And then I'll close the ink pad. And while that's drying, I'm going to take the uh, Banner Triple Punch and I just want to flag the end. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Designer Series paper. Okay, let's make sure this fits, and it does. Yeah, well, it's a little off. Let me trim it a little bit more. I think I'm still a little crooked, but it'll be fine. Okay. Now let's take the 1 8 circle punch, punch a hole up there at the top. We're going to take the half inch circle punch and we're just going to notch this. So we're just going to cut like half of a circle. So that way when you give this to someone, they're going to know which side of the box opens because they all look the same. So this right here will be the indicator of where it opens. And now I'm going to take the Pretty Label Punch and I'm going to cut out the greeting. Okay, so now we want to add a couple of these faceted dots. They're so pretty. You may not be able to see these in the picture, but you can see them here in the video. Okay, so now let's take the ribbon, Grapefruit Grove, so that's a question for you. Do you like grapefruit? I actually don't, but my family does, my husband and both my children, they love them. It, they're bitter to me, <laughs> but I do love oranges. Okay. Let's make this shorter. Okay, I've messed it up, so let's start over. I always say I have to stop talking to make it look good. Okay. And we want to add this to the front of the tag using dimensionals. 
just going to go right about there. And then we're going to turn it over and add a couple dimensionals on the back to add it to the box. Get this back over here. And there you have it. Pretty cute, right? Thanks a lot. Have a great day. If you need anything, let me know. Bye.